All right, so the first thing we want to do is flip the scooter over. That way we have access to the deck that's underneath. And we're going to start by removing the kickstand. We'll use a three millimeter Allen key and remove those two screws that are here. Once the kickstand is off, we can proceed by removing the deck. Now, using a four millimeter Allen key, we're going to remove the plastic covering that's under the deck and remove those six screws. Now that all six screws are off, we can remove the plastic covering and you will notice that there is a cable that is holding the charging port, which we will disconnect just for safety. Now we've got another six screws to remove under the scooter using the same four millimeter Allen key. With all six screws off, we can remove the metal plate. Next, we want to disconnect the motor from the controller. There will be the three phase wires and also the sensor wires here. So just make sure that you remove any kind of covering or protection that is above. That way you can remove it easily. Now that they're unclipped, you can remove the cable from the scooter. Take it out here, and there we go. Next, we'll remove the motor from the scooter. We're either going to use a 20 millimeter wrench or an adjustable wrench like I am right now. With those out, we can remove the locking washers that are here. You don't have to remove them, but I just will. That way it will be easier. And now we can remove the motor from the scooter. Next, you can grab your new motor and put it back on the scooter. Make sure that the, that the cable of the motor is on the left side or the right side of the scooter when it's upright. And we'll slide it back in. Make sure the washers are also on the inside of the brackets here. And we'll put the locking washers back on too. Make sure that that small piece here gets on top where the groove is. Like so. Get the bolts back on. And using that same wrench to tighten it. Now that it's nice and tight, we'll put the cable back through and get it through that covering too. That way it's nice and safe. Finally, putting on the sensors, make sure that you're going in the right way. So it'll be this way where the grooves are and clip it through. With everything put back in, make sure the cables are nice and tidy and we can put the metal plate back like so and we'll get the screws back on too. Next we'll put back the plastic cover on. We'll start by putting in the charger back on too. and plastic cover on. Once it's nicely put in place, we can start putting those six screws back on. Finally, we only got to put the kickstand back on. And that's it guys, your motor is changed and you should be ready to go.